Okay guys, so it's about time for the reveal. I've been working on this office for a whole month now and Claire's about to walk in and I'm really excited to see her reaction. <laughs> okay, you ready? No. <laughs> this is like my best work so far, okay? Oh my gosh! One, two, three. What? Oh my god! So my wife Claire works full time from home and her office is quite a mess. It's amazing to know that she built her consulting business out of this space, but if it was me, I would not be able to focus here. You may think that she doesn't prioritize organization and aesthetics, but in reality, she's just been so busy as a new mother and working full time running her business after moving in last year. So I think it's about time to help her out with a complete office makeover. She gave me complete freedom to design it exactly the way I wanted it as if it was my own office. So after a lot of hard work and figuring out what works best in the setup, I'm super excited to share with you guys the build process, all the key decisions, changes, and tips and tricks that I made to this space to fully work for her needs as a tech entrepreneur. Hopefully this room transformation will give you guys some good inspiration and ideas as to what can be the best work from home setup for yourself because I think that having a nice home office is more important than ever before. Also, if you find the video helpful, remember to like and subscribe to support the channel and without further ado, let's get started. So as always, the first step would be to clean and declutter the room to get a fresh start and know what we're working with. Although the room is small, I think there's some cool things we can do here. I like how the walls are all white and we're gonna keep it that way because I'm kind of lazy and don't want to repaint it. For the design of this room, I wanted a more modern, minimalist, and natural look to make it relaxing and clutter-free. So I went on the internet and gathered pictures of rooms and themes that I liked and organized them into Notion as my mood board. I really liked the light-themed rooms paired with wood and some plants for a natural and calming vibe. So for the main wall, which is the feature wall, I was inspired by this Japanese minimalist style, so I wanted this to be a slat wall. And instead of cutting each piece of wood myself, I got these pre-made acoustic slat wall panels from the wood veneer hub. We chose the panels with the natural oak and gray felt because it matches perfectly with the light and natural theme that we're going for. Out of the box, they are really long, around 94 inches tall, so the only thing I had to do was to cut it down to the right height. Now, this may sound easy, but the installation requires a lot of measuring, power tools, muscle and math power. So once again, I had to recruit my friends to help out, and trust me, doing this alone is not fun. So having an extra pair of hands is gonna save a lot of time, and it's just gonna be a more enjoyable process. I thought my friend was really smart because he used to be a draftsman doing construction stuff so he did most of the measuring and everything was going pretty well until there was this difficult part where we had to do a more complex cut in the corner and that's where we kind of messed up. Why is this not going in? <laughs> what happened here? Why is there this much gap? <laughs> Galvin? <laughs> what did you do? I don't know! I measured twice! So ideally, we would measure twice in everything and only cut once. However, he measured twice from the wrong spot. But that's okay. In the grand scheme of things, it's a really small thing. Anyways, he redeemed himself after that. Moving along, we had to add supports on the wall. This helps secure the panels to the wall and it gives space in between the wall and the felt to optimize sound absorption. This is gonna help out with Claire's Zoom calls a lot, and that's because this room is really echoey. It's like singing in the shower. Anyways, installing the rest of the panels was a breeze. I love how fast and simple it was. Each panel joined to the next one seamlessly, making this amateur job look pro. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. It's quite amazing what a difference these panels can make. I think it kind of makes the room look kind of taller with the slats being vertical. And initially, I planned to cover it on the whole wall, However, we ended up leaving a quarter of it empty. There's a lot of things we can do with that empty space later on, but now that I have the feature wall completed, it's time to work on the main thing in the room, the desk setup. For her desk, we chose to get the Sway desk from Ergon Office. It's a solid wood motorized standing desk. It is 60 inches wide by 30 inches deep, which is a pretty big desk and will give her plenty of space to work on. I gotta say though, this solid wood desk is super heavy. Even with two people, it was tough to flip over. I mean, look at this guy's face. We should probably go to the gym more. The cool thing about the desk is that it has an integrated touch interface in the lower right corner of the desk to control the height. It's super useful how there are two programmable settings for it to move automatically and that it can adjust as low as 23 inches from the ground. I think this is gonna be great for Claire because she's on the shorter side. Anyways, I just love how this looks. The entire desktop is beautifully crafted out of solid cherry wood and using this as the foundation of the setup really adds to the natural aesthetic to the space and I think this is gonna fit perfectly when all of the 
the other things on her desk. As for desk accessories, the goal for these things is to help her keep everything clean, organized, and functional, so that it's clutter-free and everything she needs is at arm's reach. So this is the desk organizer from Artifox. It's made out of white oak, which matches the desk nicely. It also has a metal top, which works with Artifox's magnetic accessories like these pegs over here. I think it's a pretty clever design how the solid oak base can be used for storage to hold pens, scissors, and the magnets are even strong enough to hold up books and stuff like that to neatly store and display whatever you want. I also got her these Artifox paper trays. The trays are stackable and it's made of pretty heavy duty material and we're going to use them as drawers in the middle part of the shelf over here to easily store and organize things as I know that she usually has a lot of stuff on her desk. So right now I think there's too much wood going on so we're going to add a bit of contrast and visual structure to the desk by using a desk pad. I think this natural wool material is super soft to the touch. This one is made out of merino wool felt by Grove Made. We chose to use a medium plus size to protect and cover just enough of the desk, making it a nice accent to her desk and her keyboard and mouse. As for her laptop, she's been using the M1 MacBook Air and she likes placing it below her monitor to use as a second screen and to use the webcam. The neat accessory she's been using is the Moth Invisible Cooling Stand. It's hidden underneath her laptop and it just quickly folds out to get the laptop screen to the right height. The stand also helps cool down the laptop using graphene cooling technology. It conducts heat away from the laptop surface and this whole thing can be easily removed and attached so that's pretty cool. Next, her keyboard of choice is the Nufi Air 60. It's a super compact and ultra slim wireless mechanical keyboard which saves a lot of space and fits nicely with her laptop which is also set up on her desk. The keyboard also has hot swappable switches and it lights up. She's actually using the brown switches for the most part when typing and replaced the arrow keys with the blue clicky switches so that she can tap on it for fun when she's bored. As for the mouse, she loves using the Logitech MX Anywhere 3 because it fits her small hands perfectly. On the side, we have the brass notepad by Grove Made. This is made of solid brass so it feels super premium and heavy. I also use this on my own desk and I love how I can quickly make lists and quick notes on them. It's just so satisfying to cross things off and feel productive and even keep separate lists to keep organized. Next, I got her these modular solid wood organization trays from Okiwood. They've got magnets built in on the side of them as well so you can quickly connect and configure them in any way that you want. The little trays are going to be perfect for like paper clips and small things and the bigger trays are going to be great for storing pens and glasses, making them organized and easily accessible on her desk. Moving along, this is the Q0 by Keychron. It's a customizable mechanical numpad. This little guy feels super well built and heavy. The switches are hot swappable as well, and we have the one that is fully assembled with the blue clicky switches. So when Claire works on her spreadsheets and finances, it's going to be extra satisfying punching the numbers in. The numpad does need to be connected to a wire for it to work, so I have it stored under the desk shelf to get it out of the way when it's not in use, and it's still easily accessible when she needs it. So Claire records a lot of tutorials for her clients, so she needs a dedicated microphone to up her game. This is the Elgato Wave 3 mic and the Elgato Low Profile mic arm. The mic is a broadcast level grade microphone that's super easy to use. The funny thing is that the mic arm and the shock mount actually came in the color black. So I thought it was a good idea to spray paint it white to better match the setup. And you know, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Anyways, it has a tactile knob in front to control volume, adjust the headphone volume, and the crossfade between the mic mix and the computer mix to decide how much of yourself you want to hear versus all the other audio that you hear in your mix. There's also a touch sensor on the top to silently mute the mic. So it's nice to control all of these things right on the mic itself. As for charging her phone, we're going to use the Pitaka Mac Easy Slider. So this is basically a wireless charging phone stand, and you can also spin it around a lot if you're bored. However, there's actually a reason for that. When you spin it to the back, you can actually place your earbuds there to charge it wirelessly, and you can also plug in another attachment to charge an Apple Watch. However, the best feature of the stand is that it has a detachable MagSafe power bank that you can keep attached to your phone, so that you can keep it charged when you need to go out. And if you're wondering how I'm keeping all this tech on her desk connected, I'm using the the Anchor Thunderbolt 4 mini dock, which is hidden right behind her laptop under the shelf. The dock has three Thunderbolt 4 ports at the back. This makes it very easy to cable manage everything and keep the cables hidden behind the desk. And at the front of the unit, it has another Thunderbolt 4 port. It provides 85 watts of power to the MacBook Air to keep it charged. So I really like how this gives a clean look on her desk, giving her a one cable connection setup. And on the side to complement her desk, we're using the Ergonoffice Neat Filing Cabinet with the solid cherry wood panels as well. It's super handy to keep less used items at arm's reach, and the best feature may just be the soft closed drawers. 
Anyways, the top of the cabinet looks a bit empty, so I added some Artifox magazine holders for extra storage, as well as that Okiwood catch-all tray to make better use of the space. And to make the space even more natural, of course, I had to add some plants on the side as well. I think looking at plants or something that's green really helps relax the eyes, so it's gonna be nice for her to take a break. It's just staring at the plants. And by the way, everything I mentioned in this video is linked in the description below. So if there's something that you like in today's video, you can check that out afterwards. Now that the desk setup is complete, there's the rest of the room to work on. For the wall in front of her desk, I wanted to build out a shelf to use as storage for her. And we went with the idea of building a giant pegboard. I've always wanted to do this, but man, I didn't know how much work this required. There was a lot of designing involved, and we ended up using two boards instead of one because we couldn't fit a huge board into the car. In making this, there was a lot of measuring, sanding, and a lot of drilling involved. Each board is 84 inches in height and 30 inches in width, so it's bigger than Claire's desk and we need to drill 52 one inch holes in each board. It wasn't easy to drill the holes even with the right tools, we needed two people to drill through the board. Maybe we're doing something wrong but I'm super glad that I had my friends to help out. I could not have done this alone, especially when it came to installing it on the wall. Three people is a must, it's important to have two people holding it and pushing it against the wall to get it into the right place and make sure it's level, and then you have me who has the easy job of drilling it into place. Although it was tough and this project probably took around 30 hours, the end result is definitely worth it. We were just so happy when both boards looked straight and leveled on the wall. I'm sure this project gave the three of us lots of bro bonding time, and they found it very satisfying to know that we made this ourselves. However, I don't know if they would agree to do this with me again knowing how much work it takes. Anyways, I actually filmed the entire process of making this. Let me know if you want to see a dedicated video on building this in the comments below. Moving along, I made the shelves from the extra material that I had and I made the pegs from a long one inch dowel and I just had to cut the pegs to the right length. These were pretty easy to make so I had a bunch of them ready to decorate the board. The pegs fitted in the holes pretty snugly, I had to hammer them in and placing the shelf on them feels quite secure. I know Claire likes blue so this is a good chance to add that accent color in the room along with some plants from Ikea. I purposefully chose easy to maintain plants and even fake plants so that she wouldn't have to take care of them because every plant she took care of before always dies. Wow, that went dark really fast. Anyways, I placed things she would use frequently in the middle. Also, before I installed the pegboard, I plugged in an extension cord so that we can run a power cable for the Alexa behind the board. And I found that using this to hold backpacks and bags are super handy. It's just a great way to place them when you enter the room to keep it off the floor. I made another shelf to hold tools that she uses less often, but are still very accessible. So I love how this pegboard is super customizable and everything that's placed on the shelves just looks like it's very intentional and that they belong there. Hopefully this will keep the room more organized in the long run. As for the last side of the room, I decided to use the leftover slat wall panels and cut them into half to decorate it so that it doesn't look too empty and it gives contrast to the wall that we left blank. To install it, I just hammered the nails into the wall and this actually secured the panels pretty nicely so this took a lot less time to install. So this looked pretty good, however, upon closer inspection, my woodworking skills isn't awesome. So there's a lot of flaws and uneven panels. So I decided to remove a long strip from one of the extra panels and make a long edge piece to hide all the imperfections. And I think this looks even better than before, and I'm quite happy with it. Next, I wanted to make use of the space above, so we're gonna add a whiteboard and another shelf. We mounted the whiteboard using command strips on the four corners behind the whiteboard. Installing it this way was super simple because I wasn't scared of not installing it perfectly, we can always just pull it off and readjust the angle to make sure it's level. Next, this is the Artifox wall shelf. This is made of solid steel, so it's quite heavy. It does come with these heavy duty wall anchors, so installing it on the wall wasn't too hard. To decorate the space a bit, I added a little dangling plant on the shelf, along with a air purifier and another plant below to make it look a bit more natural and aesthetic. The last piece I added were these Artifox pegs. I think it ties in nicely with the wood panels. I tried to put it on the whiteboard, but it just kind of slides off, but it works perfectly with the solid steel shelf. The magnets on this is even strong enough to hold up headphones, so I think this combo looks great and it's gonna be useful to hold whiteboard markers and stuff like that, but I'll let Claire figure that out. The room is almost complete, but it's just missing one crucial thing which is smart lighting. When designing rooms and desk setups, I always look for easy spots to hide my lights to get ambient lighting. And the first place in this setup would be behind the slat walls. I'm using this neon rope light from Govi, and I'm using this because there isn't much distance between the panels and the wall. And I want to avoid seeing the individual LEDs like I would if I used normal light strips. 
To install this, I drilled the little plastic mounts that hold the rope lights into the wooden supports on the wall. It was easy to install vertically as I just had to hang it from those supports on the side. And for the bottom part, I just tucked in the rest above the floor trims and the final result is amazing. I think this is one of the things that sets most rooms apart. There's a ton of lighting effects that you can choose from in the GoV app, but I like sticking with the plain and simple warm white color to get a natural glow. Next, we have the peg wall. I used a 32 feet long GoV light strip, and this was actually quite easy to install. I just stuck the adhesive on the light strip onto the back of the board. I'm really glad that I installed that extension cable before to make this happen. And finally, we have the desk setup. To light up the desk, I just installed two Philip Hue light bars behind the monitor and one LifeX light strip behind the desk on the cable tray. As for the corner, it was a bit dark as well, so I placed the light behind the magazine holders to light it up. So after installing all this ambient lighting, I really think it took everything that we've done so far to the next level. And by the way, as for little things to improve the setup even further, proper cable management is always nice to have. So for this setup, I'm using the cable tray from Ergonoffice. The tray is made specifically for this desk and it's installed directly under the table. It was quite easy to hide the cables behind the monitor and the desk shelf and secure them on the cable tray with the zip ties. The other little thing we had to do was to hide away all the shiny parts of the screws from the panels. We had to cut out little strips from the felt and cover every single one of them to complete the look. Although Claire might not notice stuff like this, I know that I would be bothered by it every single time I entered her office. So this is definitely a good long-term investment for me so that I can enjoy a nice looking wall for a long, long time. So before we show Claire the office for the first time, if you guys like what you're seeing so far, I've made a lot of other desk setup videos that I think you'll like to watch as well. So remember to like and subscribe with the notification bell turned on to see more content like this in the future. Okay guys, so it's about time for the reveal. I've been working on this office for a whole month now and Claire's about to walk in and uh, I'm really excited to see her reaction. <laughs> okay, you ready? No. <laughs> this is like my best work so far, okay? Oh. One, two, three. What? Oh my God. So you think this looks good right now? Okay, check this out. Alexa, hello. <laughs> when did you have time to put in all these lights? Where did you find all these plants that I'm gonna kill? Uh, there's a lot more space in here, isn't there? This was just like all blank and white with nothing. Actually, it was filled up with your stuff. <laughs> okay, Claire, let me walk you through the setup. Check out your new desk over here. It's so much bigger than my old one. And there's like a neat, drawer here. Gray is my favorite color. I also really love blue and you just tied it all together. Like holy moly, the wall. It is so cool. I now know why we had to suffer all those saw noises all this time. You were cutting these boards. It's so, so cool. And of course, like with the peg wall, I've always been to go to Antarctica. So having that in just really inspires me. Double press the uh, one button over there. A clean and clutter-free space has a huge impact on just how productive someone can be. So I'm very glad that I was able to transform Claire's office to help her focus better, and more importantly, create a space that she can look forward to work in and enjoy life every day. And if you're still watching right now, thank you so much for supporting my videos and watching till the end. Make sure you drop a water wave emoji in the comments below to let me know that you watched up to this point. And guys, if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe or even share it with a friend who you think would like this video. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the very next one. Bye. a little mini fridge for you. Open it. No way. What? Yo, it's actually cold. What is this juice? This is not my favorite drink.